Hey guys, Stromont Productions here with my first review of the GBA for iOS beta using iOS 7. This is going to be somewhat of a quick review as this beta doesn't contain many new updates, but I wanted to show just what it looks like on iOS 7 and kind of show you some of the new features. Right off the bat, GBA for iOS looks a crap lot better in iOS 7. It's got a brand new updated look and doesn't look like a standard app from iOS 6. The menu has stayed relatively similar except with a few new added features. One being the credits, and the other one being a new feature called Controller Opacity. It allows you to change the opacity of the controller in landscape mode, which is a feature that I really appreciate. Seeing as if you're an experienced user, you can just go complete zero opacity and completely immerse yourself in the game without even having to see the controls. Another notable feature in this version of the beta is controller skins. They're now fully compatible, you can play around with them. Riley has also said on his Twitter page that you will be able to make your own skins if you really want to, which is kind of cool, you got to add your own personalization to GBA for iOS. A couple of other important things. Riley has also announced that GBA for iOS 2.0 will only be supported on iOS 7. A lot of people got angry with him about this, but it's for good reason. iOS 7, like it or not, is the way of the future as there are certain developer tools only available in iOS 7. As time goes by, users who have stayed with iOS 6 will notice that a lot of their favorite apps will become unsupported in future updates, as well as new apps. There's a link to a great article with more information on this in the description. The next beta is slated to be released fairly soon, so keep your eyes peeled for a video on that. That's all for now, see you guys soon.